taking it as violence. That's not what I'm talking about. Right. So He's a grudge on cycledrag.com. The world's fastest grudge bikes, except for the real fast ones. They're not allowed. I want the whole moon mob here and throw it off of the property right now. <laughs> Welcome to the jungle. You can feel the intensity. You can cut the tension. It is the biggest race, the richest race in the history of motorcycle drag racing. $90,000 up for grabs. The most ferocious, fastest, meanest grudge bikes are here, ready to battle as promised. Let's go. Speed World Dragway, it's not the Festival of Lights, it's the Festival of Bikes. And never before has there been a purse this large, ladies and gentlemen, $90,000 up for grabs. Behind me, it's a sea of humanity, you can't even see the motorcycles, but we'll take 16 of the baddest, fastest grudge bikes. We're gonna draw them each round until there's only one. And the winner gets the Christmas of a lifetime, $90,000. Let's meet some of this field. We're here with Kill Bill, rider of authority, one of the biggest names in grudge racing. Kill Bill, you won this event last year. Nobody knows how to do it better than you. What's going through your mind right now as we get ready to roll out? How do you stay so calm? Staying in the zone. What do you think about track conditions right now? With this weather's changing, dew setting in, is that bothering you at all? And how about 90000 How happy would that make your Christmas? We'll see if Authority can do it two years in a row. And as you can see, guys, this is not our typical motorcycle drag race that we covered. Not only was there a huge entry fee for the riders, there's a lot of friendly wagering, shall we say, going on here at Orlando Speed World Dragway. Oh, he likes to kill Bill for three. I know. Man, miss him all, man. This is a motorcycle known as Black Jesus. Rider Cody Lowe. You feeling good, Cody? Good luck to you. Guys, nothing says welcome to grudge racing more than Uncle Sam out of Williford Racing. It doesn't even have a tailpiece. It's not about showing off a sponsor here. It's about saving weight. Wait till you see this. Well, what do you think? Is Uncle Sam ready to win it all? I hope so. Check this out, guys. Check this out. Where's the tailpiece? There isn't one. Very special motorcycle out of Williford Racing. We're also going to talk a lot about tire choice. Some running slicks, some running shinkos, some running the drag. We're here with the rider of Master Blaster. Please introduce yourself. Uh, Good, Dust. And where are you from? Hillsburg, North Carolina. What is your just level of anticipation like right now, your excitement with an opportunity to go out there for 90? Still got time to do it. That's right. You want to, yeah? That's right. This is something special, though. We wish you all the best. Thank you. T-shirts are on sale for $25. This is the motorcycle known as Avatar. This is the rider, Busa Benjamin. Ben, how you feeling here? We're ready to rumble. Good. I feel good. What's going to be the key to winning this race? Consistency. Consistency. Wish you all the best. Here's the motorcycle known as, as you can tell by the T-shirt, Catch-22. You think this is the night of Catch-22? Here with LeVar Dealey, the rider of Catch-22. LeVar, I've been watching your grudge rates for about 20 years. You're 140 pounds. you got one of the best clutch hands out there. How are you feeling about your chances to win this thing? 50-50. What's the key? All you guys are so calm, and I'm seeing that maybe that is something that all of the great riders have in common. How do you stay calm in a situation like this? Because we do it so long and we're used to it. That's right. Wish you all the best, Bob. You know what that is? It's a little dark, but that's unmistakable. That's the hair dryer, the turbocharger. This is the motorcycle known as Billy Mays, the 1000. Sir, please introduce yourself. Billy Ammons. Tell me a little bit about this bike. It's a wild ride. I bet it is. Um, I believe we put it in the winter circle. Oh, you look pumped. You ready to go? Ready to go. Good luck. Who's going to win this thing? Grave Digger. Grave Digger. Who you got? HTP. HTP. Who you got? HTP, HTP. baby. HTP. might beat him, but it might blow up. So. 
So we're asking everybody who's going to win. We got Grave Digger here. Grave Digger is an unbelievably mean, high horsepower nitrous bike. Now, you know me, Joey Gladstone. As a reporter, I stay totally unbiased. I can't pick a winner, but if I had to pick a winner, brother, let me tell you, brother, let me tell you something, brother. Let me Tell you something, brother. Joey Gladstone is about to run wild. The old school. So I got a little excited, Joe. You got a chance to win ninety thousand. Can you do it? Randy Savage, right there. Is this experience gonna lead you to a ninety thousand dollar win? We'll see, guys. I made a lot of trips down the racetrack to see if I can make one. Here. It'll be one happy Christmas for Joey if he can win it. This is the motorcycle known as Tucci. We got Team Tucci over here. I see you got some pipes on you, man. We got air. That's that VT game power. Well, you must be too heavy to ride this. Say, where's the here's the rider right here. Where are you from, sir? Tucci gonna win this thing? Yes, sir. Feeling good, Tucci. Make your pick, guys. American Express has to be a favorite. Jeremy Teasley, they call him the GOAT. He holds the pro street record at 632 on a GSXR 1000. He's won more than 30 championships. He said this would be the biggest win of his career. Crow, Father Jeremy Teasley. Crow, you told me earlier on, no doubt about it, this would be the biggest win of Jeremy's career. Have you done anything special to try to vault yourself over the edge tonight? We've done a lot. Three weeks of testing, so we're about to see if it pays off. Okay, so a lot of guys are downplaying how much work was put in here. You guys have really rolled up your sleeves and done a lot of work. We've done a lot of work. 90,000 is no joke, right? That's no joke. We're hoping it all pays off. Wish you the best. dark back here but we're about to put on the bright lights they say everything's bigger in texas and here is the man alex horsepower use hrp alex you have been on a pro stock motorcycle you hold the record for the world's fastest naturally aspirated two-stroke you've been on outlaw pro street bikes but now an opportunity to win ninety thousand dollars what does this mean to you oh it's great you know it's a great opportunity uh you know we appreciate king of Drugs for putting it together uh we appreciate hrp for sponsoring the class uh, and uh, I appreciate all my family and friends for supporting me. Uh, couldn't have done it without them. So we're just glad to be here. Good luck. Look at this very unique chassis that Alex Horsepower Hughes has. Very different, guys. Not your typical grudge bike chassis. And ladies and gentlemen, we have caught up with the man they call the GOAT, Jeremy Teasley. We just spoke with your father, and he said people don't realize how much work went into this race. What was it like from your end? Five long hours. Working on the bike, testing? Yeah, we tested and then uh, went back and changed up and took it apart and put it back together and came here. Which is a lot of, a lot of hours. If you've done a lot. If you could win 90 grand, what would you do? Hmm, good question. I'm sure you find something. Yeah, I'll find something. I'm sure I find something by the kids. There we go. And here you go, Kawasaki fans, Team Puerto Rico. Here is the motorcycle of David Fondon. They call it Rolex. It is a fast Kawasaki ZX14. Fondon's made a big name for himself in the super sport ranks. He's looking to win this thing here tonight. This is the motorcycle known as Hail Mary, a nitrous bike with a seven inch. Well, the motorcycle may be plain, but the rider isn't. This is one of the greatest riders in the world, Richard Gadsden. He's held the Pro Street record. Richard, a very, uh, very vanilla motorcycle, but I know you're amped up to make a little noise and win this thing, aren't you? Yeah, we're, uh, we own this thing where the bike's got to pay for its own paint job. So okay. until it does that, uh, it's going to stay primer like it is. Uh, but yeah, I'm excited, man. We, we had a rough weekend. We heard the motor Thursday night. We spent all day yesterday changing it. Today, only got one pass, and it was just a mediocre pass. So the you know, only thing you can do is, is point and shoot at this point. Wish you all the best. Chris Moore is running the Dunlop. Chris Moore, very popular on YouTube, coming off your 630 record performance at Maryland International Raceway. But boy, this is a different atmosphere. It's a whole isn't different it? world here. So the, the, the thing in Maryland, the 630, that was fun, that's challenging. This is the real deal here. This is where I was built. At. This is pressure bus pipes, and we about to bust some pipes. We know you like to make noise. We know you love YouTube. If you could win the ultimate bragging right race, 90 grand, what would that mean to you? Man, it's like the ultimate drop the mic. 90,000, Jack? You don't even have to ask that question. 
Drop the mic. Good luck to you, Chris. Thank you, Jack. Cyber it's time to go, way. guys. Time this to go. This means it's time for the first round. I love it. I love it. You got any picks on who's going to win this? There we go. Thank you for what you do. Guys, this is nuts. Welcome to Kings of Grudge. First time ever on Cycle Drag. I hope we make it out alive. I hope you appreciate this video. Who's taking home $90,000? Guys, it's getting a little chippy out there, but hey, proof positive, anything can happen. The defending champion is out of here. This race is wide open. And here comes the man they call the GOAT, the greatest of all time. Guys, he's earned that reputation. He's earned that nickname. He's poised, he's comfortable, he's unfazed by this massive humanity, and he wants to win $90,000 but it's that proverbial one round at a time. Mickey Hunt, he got 
took the cone out. Cross the line. Right leg, cross the line.
for Black Jesus there. He we couldn't make the call. That's why he got a single. He may have had problems. He may have used that buy to push the limits of the racetrack and collect some valuable data. Or he may have got a reprieve. You never know. Sometimes it pays to be lucky. and Chris Moore showed out. We're going to see you guys out. You guys stay safe out here. There we go, guys. The fans are loving it. Oh, my gosh, Cycle Drag, you loving it or what, huh? Everybody having a great time. We're just getting started. Don't you think about leaving this video yet? Freak in the house. Yeah. 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 up, man? Yeah. Cycle yeah. Drag, baby. We're reviewing the Teasley footage. I'm glad you're here, sir. What's your name? Fernando. Where are you from? Brazil. Thank you for being here, man. Well, you ever see anything like this in Brazil? It's crazy. Yeah. Crazier? Yeah. Well, we got the right guy to help protect us. Hey, baby. Cycle There it is. Cycle Got it. It's a battle of attrition. Sometimes it's a sprint. 
Sometimes it's a marathon. Corey Reed gets there first, that's all that matters. And he's got a team that can help him get back into competition. Guys, I gotta catch my breath. Woo! I thought an NHRA national was intense. Woo. Kings of grudges. Wow, that's only round number one. We still gotta figure out if Teasley moved on, but I think Teasley did get the win. We'll give you the official announcement here in just a little bit and get you set for round two. Whoa! That's a pretty good sign. We're at Orlando Speed World. That's a pretty good sign. We're set for round number two, $90,000 at stake. Putting a little heat in the track and putting on a show. We love it. I thought Kane from the WWE was coming out. Oh, no, no, no. Round number two. Steve Nichols, Max ECU. Steve on that Jeremy Teasley run, okay? Yeah. His opponent, we found out, did hit the cone. You heard something from the radio. I think you told everybody if it was in Vegas, no action, yeah, right? No, don't pay the bets. Yeah, don't. so the track operator went down to replace the cone. He said the bike in the right lane, hit the eighth mile cone, bike is disqualified. And I just told everybody to not pay bets. That's all I said. You're tuning exclusively for Teasley this weekend. Chris Conley. Yeah. And Chris Conley. You feel like Teasley can win this thing? Yeah. Well, I, I feel like Teasley can win on anything. I yeah. agree to that. Great equipment. What are you seeing on the computer? Anything you can share? No, we just we just keep making it a little better, a little better every pass. A little better. Good all right, got a little little pre-round two burger courtesy DME. Demi told me it's been sitting there since four, but I don't care. It looks good. I haven't had any food all day. We're ready. I'm going to heat it up. Heat up my burger real quick. Thank you very much. That's perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, we have some lovely ladies here. Who do we have? Trini Ray. And? Jay Denise. And? Jennifer. Instagrams? Uh, Jennifer Cook White. Jay Denise 427. Trini Ray 0616. Do you lovely ladies watch Cycle Drag? We appreciate it so much. Major, major developing story here for all you Chris Moore fans out there. One of my spies just tipped me off that Chris Moore is under protest. We're going to head to his trailer. Again, we're new to the grudge game. We don't even know the rules. Apparently, they're saying it's his pro street bike. So I said, it's run what you brung, right? But someone told me if the bike has ever shown its time before, it's not allowed to compete in no scoreboard grudge racing. Let's see what's going on and if Moore's going to be able to continue. What's going on in here? They don't have the other stuff. Oh, stop. 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 Come on, man. Like I, I'm not. I'm not finna go through it. Right. I'm not. Let me ask you a I'm not. I'm ask gonna you. be fair. I'm down the board. I'm gonna be fair. Down the board. It's what it is. You like I, that is not the pro street bike. Yes, I told you. It it's not. You can't. It's my bike. You got to break the entire the bike. Is on the Why bike. take it apart? It's the same bike except for Why take it apart? Because I needed parts on it. No. You cannot. Why? I, I said it. You you I said you must fight the Bruce Street fight. I did. Five grand from him. Thousand dollars for me. You don't think that's not Bruce Street coming? I don't care what it is. I lost. No, no, it's not. It's okay. No, it's not. It's okay. But what I'm saying to you, it was always going to be. It was always going to be. So just Chris, I told you before you even signed. I sent you several texts. I sent you several texts and you know what I mean. We ain't gonna oh, be around the bush. No, we gotta be technical. What do you mean? No. I don't know what you mean. We ain't gonna be around the bush. We're not be Stop it, Chris. We Stop we it, guys. Be, we have to be tripping. I'm not tripping. Let me ask you a question. I'm not tripping. Let me ask you just a simple question. You have to answer this question. I'll tell you what. Are you ready for a simple question? I answered your question. Answer mine. Why did you take my 5,000 and let me run down the track? Answer that. Please answer it, please. Answer that. Yes, answer that. Please answer that. Go ahead. Hold on. Because I'm going to answer that. 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 Because I'm going
Cool. I did not come yeah. over here to why? at any why? time. Why? I can why contact you. Why at any you? time. Then I don't need you because I already told so you guys what the deal was. What you wanted to bring. Right I already told you guys what the deal was. It is bring. not your pro screen so bike. That is it not is. your pro screen bike. You're telling me that's not my bike. Except for the real fast ones, they're not allowed. My bike. So is Richard back in the race? You got the cue. Who is Richard back in the race? This is garbage fucking trash. The worst fucking series ever. Oh yeah, you're paying my money back. Fuck that. Wait, 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 do they protest if I lose first round? So if you're disqualified, you just don't want me back in? No, 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 no. But how can we be disqualified, Richard? How can we be disqualified after the pass? How is that possible? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Time Why would you Time take out. my five grand? Races, right? Yes, yes, yes. You shouldn't have put your five grand up knowing he was no, full of shit. I'm in the not full of shit. So That's why would I do that? If listen, but since you wanna, since you wanna play the technical, we can all play dumbass games, right? You lose after any pass if you're disqualified. Yeah, right. But no, you can't. That's not true. Listen, true. listen. you got. Wait, 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 Hey, 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 let's go. Hey, 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 you can't do all that after Listen, the fact. The whole class. You, can't. <laughs> you can't do all that. You can't. No, I didn't you can't do all that. There's no post testing. Listen, did I brought hold on, Richard. Say you might be back. Let me ask you questions. Did I start the fight and change anything after you started? No. There's nothing what? about that goddamn what? boy that's pro street. Hey, what is, what is, is the main fear? Oh, of the pro street motorcycle? Hey, 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 hey,
grudge race class, but yet there's seven other motorcycles. There's actually eight motorcycles in it. Seven of them said they're scared to death of more mafia. I'm lost. I just don't know how Rasheem would be able to differentiate your grudge bike from, it's not like we have stamped parts. It's not like you went through tech at Maryland and now he's seeing those parts. No. I gotta talk to Rasheem so about this. I we have understand. to talk to Rasheem because basically he says now it has to be in running configuration. So we took the turbo and header off of the Pro Street bike right. and put on the Grudge bike. We have the we have the Pro Street frame, we have the Pro Street bodywork, we have the Pro Street wheels, we have the Pro Street swing arm, we have the Pro Street engine, we have the wiring harness, the ECU. There's no turbo on. One more question here. Then Richard was asking if you were going to let him back in. Is that your choice? What I don't understand. We're gonna no. Okay. Yeah. Like I said, first Grudge event. You got to educate yeah. me here. We had to educate a lot of people. So does Richard, does Ri are you officially out or is this still under protest? No, this is still under protest. I want the seven other people that are in the class to come and say, Chris Moore, I'm scared to death to race you. That's what I would like to have. We're very sorry this is happening. We'll get to the bottom of it. We hope you get to continue. But, uh, I know what my five grand is too. Which I put down on this. Well, that's that's a good point too. I mean, if, if you're DQ'd, the $5,000 entry fee, do you get it back or is it gone? That, that, that's a good question, Jack. Okay. We'll have to see how this professionally run event is really wrapped already. All right, guys, we'll follow this. Best of luck to you, Chris. Sorry you're going through this here. The guy that's left in the race, who I didn't say, uh, uh, because um, Bo Mafia was DQ'd for not, for DQ'd, who are in favor of letting, um, we're DQ for DQ. I'm just, I'm, I'm just making the video, dude. I I'm just doing several Texas. Several. I will. 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 I Two, God, three, four. So we're, what, what a, you, the class, spin on words. Who does not want to race us? Who says we're too fast for the no rules, anything goes class? I, I, I'll tell you, I, that, listen, I'm not bitching. I'm not bitching. But if he had the rule was the bike's supposed to run, the rule was, the, the rule was, Show me in the rule book. I got the man right here. Well, Show me in the rule I'm book. I'm asking. I don't know. Chris, Chris ain't no listen rule book. You know, listen to me. The man said, Chris, 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 you know Ain't no rule book. Chris, several messages, several texts. Chris knows it. Yeah, we just watched out for a minute. Where's Rodney's Pro Street? Where's Rodney's Pro Street? I got to keep the show going, guys. Listen, I need the hands of the back that's still in. Where the driver? The other seven bikes, where you at? Let's here. get them all in a line, because it's hard to film in the dark bikes. like this. Where you at? Hey, 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 hey. How many y'all got right here? That's it, there. One, two, three, four, five. That's the majority right there. I ain't sure he's not gonna vote. You said, majority. where are the racers that are still in it? You didn't ask what the fucking question was. You said, I, where I, are the racers still in it? I, I just hand. asked them. He already know the question. I just asked him. I said the racist that's is still in it. Who is in favor? Holy shit. You just, you're not listening to me. I said all the race that's in favor of letting Rich back in because you were DQ for being illegal, raise your hands. And then raise their hands. So illegal. what you guys are explaining to me is I'm too fast for the class. Rich is no, back in. Let's go. I will run you. No, no. If that's how he interprets it, let him have his way. Big eight bikes back to the lane. It's over. Let's go. Lane six. Let's go. Bring the bike, let's hey, go. Hey, 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 hey. Billy says I'm not too fast. We'll just pull our chip. Let's go. You can side that with Billy. Billy, whoever with the bike. Back up. Let's go. Hey, this is what you call a professional run operation right here. Kings of Grudge at its finest. Jason Miller, thanks a lot for your rule book. Rashim doesn't have one. He makes them up as he goes. Rasheem, I got you alone now. I thought it would only be fair to get your side of this. We got Chris's side. What's going on? Chris has been DQ'd for not. I told Chris before he even brought the bike, you cannot run a pro street bike yeah. at a KOD event. Uh, I said, if you run, I, I sent him several texts, several, several, that if you run 
a bike to the same similar application. And I, I, I specifically told him, if you run that 1000 with that turbo, you must bring the full Pro Street bike to the event together. I told him this month, about a month ahead of time, weeks ahead of time before the show even got here. He does not have the full Pro Street bike with everything on it. He does not. The turbo is not on it. Several stuff is not on it. And he's been DQ'd. So you this know, is a conversation you had prior to the race prior, with Chris. Before he even sent him any lock-in, sent him money, I had this prior to him. Gotcha. I had this conversation prior to him. And he told me he don't know which bike to be. He would bring both bikes. He also told me I would also even make a shakedown with the bike because I'm trying to set the world record, is what he told me, with the Pro Street bike, that he would bring it. I let him know he must bring both fully bikes. I told him that. Period. So Chris is out. Chris is out. And Richard's in. And Richard is back in to finish running for the month. Thanks for the info. Thanks, <laughs> I told you uh, it would be a little different, huh? Pretty sure fun. is. A little tight. different than Pro Street. Yeah. A little bit quicker than Pro Street. I yeah. actually heard somebody over there say, where's Rodney's Pro Street? Uh, Okay. This is my. This has always been my grudge bike. And that's what somebody said to back you up. Yeah. Guys, like I said, I love motorcycle drag racing. I've been around it for a long, long time. I don't know enough about the entire situation here to give my opinion, nor do I want to. I invite your opinion down below in the comments. Who's in the right? Who's in the wrong? Do we know the whole story? Um, I can just tell you, though, look, I come from class racing, pro street. NHRA pro stock. I, I've never seen anybody protested like this, but this is the grudge game. This is the grudge game. Rasheem claims they had a prior conversation. Chris is claiming he was legal. Nonetheless, end result, Chris Moore Mafia out. Richard Gatson gets back in. Guys, there's nobody better to help clear up this controversy because, Ricky, I was saying how I'm not a grudge guy. I'm a class guy. I'm lost right now. You come from both worlds. What's your interpretation of what's going on here? I really don't know. I'm walking around trying to figure out what's going on. I've just been hearing rumors that it's Black Mama that Chris is riding, but um, I that's keep his pro street bike, that's right? His pro street bike, but I also keep hearing rumors that I don't know what's going on. I'm trying to figure out what's going on because they say that Mama is up in the top of Chris's trailer missing parts, but that doesn't make it not Mama, you know, like it doesn't make the bike that he's riding. Mamba. It just, I don't know whether, I don't know. I gotta go see what's going on. I just hear some big controversy about it. Well, we do know Richard's back in. Is that a fact? That's what I heard from Rasheem. He said Chris Moore out, Richard in. So it does work out for Team Gadsden. But yeah. I'm, I'm lost in this one. That I'm I just, lost. I'm <laughs> lost too. I'm walking around right now asking everybody trying to figure out what's going on. Because I haven't seen Richard. I didn't know about the controversy until someone told, brought it to me. So I'm still trying to find Richard to find out what's going on. Thanks for the insight, Ricky. We appreciate it. There's more controversy too. We're hearing a little bit more about that Teasley Tucci matchup. You thought Tucci hit it with his foot after he crossed? That's what they say. I can see them. I was looking for the green light. You look at, and you saw the wind light come on over in Tucci's yes. lane. So you thought Tucci won? Yeah, everybody did. Ooh, I'll tell you what, guys. We got a lot of controversy here, and it's not like this is just a Saturday bracket race. This is ninety thousand dollars on the yes. line. This uh, this could get a little hostile. So you guys back there were asking what happened to Chris Moore. We know Chris Moore was disqualified, but I think there's something else going on. Let's go see what's going on. Where's Rodney's Pro Street bike? Pro Street turbo's on that bike. I saw it. You gotta make him get his other bike. I'm protesting right now. And I gotta, if you're disqualified, you gotta get my five grand back. I'm not getting beat for five grand after I spent all the money to come here. Hell to the motherfucking no. Never. Absolutely. There's no way you're keeping my five grand. You're out of your mind if you think that's happening. Not in a million years, not a chance. And, and you don't make other participants follow the same rules you make me follow. Right. Rodney's Pro Street Turbo right now is on his bike. Everything now. is on the bike, so, except for the back end of the frame. Yep. Well, what, what's the difference, Rashi? Where is where is his where is this, where's the bike he even says you know you got me in this Rashi? I don't got you know nothing I to do with what no, you no, and Rodney talking no, about. No, I ain't talking about. Where's Rodney's bike? I'm talking about what me and you talking. About. Where's the rules that I have to listen, follow listen, that Rodney don't to have to follow? Where are those rules? You know what I said. to you. And you you know said bring the Pro about. Street it's bike here. Chris is good. It's here. Stop you never Chris. said running. I, well, stop, Chris. I sent you several messages even before you even sent your money. Can you show me the message, please? 
Come on, man. Show me the message. Yeah, show I'm me where Seth's running. Right now, but you know show me where Seth's running. It. I have measured my phone. Where is, where is Rodney's Pro Street bike? Do we protest him now? We want everybody to vote because I'm pretty sure Rodney's pretty fast and all those other guys are going to vote to kick him out too. So we need to have that done right now. Rodney's a real nice fella and I hate to kick him out, but if we're following rules that are not in a rule book, then everybody has to follow. Do we understand? Rodney Williford races Pro Street, okay? Rodney Williford brought a grudge bike. Rodney Williford was told to bring his Pro Street with him. He did not bring any Pro Street with him. What's the difference in my rule and his rule? Yeah. Explain it. I'll please. hold up for you said Roddy to bring the Pro Street bike with him. I got it out here. Since we're getting technical. Bring it up here. Bring it up. I am. Bring it up. Just show it. Just bring it up. It's 10 a.m. this morning when you asked me what bike I was running. I said this motorcycle right here. You should have said. You should have said. I'm said when they pulled up and said, where's the rest of the money? You know what I said. Yeah, that's what I want to know. They came on this particular contract. Yeah, that's what I want to know. They came on this particular contract. Yeah, that's what I want to know. Yeah, that's what I want to know. They came on this particular golf cart and said, we're here to get the 4000 The money. Yeah, so at Kings of Grudge, we're only worried about the money, apparently. Never in a fucking million years. No way. No way. Somebody better call the cops because I ain't leaving all my money. I'll tell you right now. Hell to the motherfucking no. You want to be bitches and kick me out? Okay. You're getting my money back. Fuck that shit. Yeah. Hell. Hell to the motherfucking no. Rashim, I don't know if you met Jack. This is from cycledrag.com too. He's a real nice guy. He's getting all this coverage for us. Cycledrag.com. <laughs> Covering everything. Let me, find, let me just pull up so we can show. Kings of Grudge on CycleDrag.com. The world's fastest grudge bikes, except for the real fast ones. They not allowed. <laughs> we got rules, not in a rule book, but we text them sometimes. Keep putting your show for your YouTube. Like, hey, right? you know well, I'm, I'm just explaining the point, Rasheen. I don't know if he got it. Like that, that. Or he dropped no, he's going to get my money is where he's yeah. going. He let it, let right? me ask you guys this. Y'all made them burn out. You come in there, you took it. I got a question. Is Rodney officially under protest or were you just proving yeah, I mean, a point? I'm officially, I like Rodney. He's a stand-up dude, fast guy. He has his Pro Street parts on that bike without his Pro Street bike here. He's a really, he's one of the nicest dudes around fast. But if I'm getting protested, so is he. Fuck it. This is crazy. We can't yeah. have rules that aren't in a rule book. Yeah. But only make one guy follow. That, that's what we're getting at. Everyone's got to know that you can't do this after a round of went by. That's the problem. That's the problem. If Rasheem came up to me first and said, hey, listen, uh, everyone said the other bike got to run. I can't let you enter. You know what? Then that, it is what it is. You can't take my five grand. Make me run first pass. If we lost, they would have been talking crazy shit. Fuck you and your pro street. You suck. But now that we won and we're pretty quick, we got to get the fuck out. Ain't happening. Not with my money. It ain't. Not with my money. I'm sorry to break this news, and I know last time we were kidding, I was just over there. Oh, yeah. You're officially under protest. Oh, I am. More Mafia claims you got, or, or is suspecting that you could have pro street parts on this bike, and they went to Rasheem, they said, if that's what we're guilty of, we need to see. Well, this is my known grudge bike, right? That's what I heard somebody Sam. say. So, do whatever they want to do. You got it. The rule is, if you've been running this light package during the year, I ran the 1,000 all year anyway. So... I haven't even been on a Busa this year in Pro Street. Are you worried that they could come over and look at this bike and give you a hard time? Do you think you're good based nah, on No, you them? don't want to give me a hard time. <laughs> well, we'll let you get in the zone. You got a big race coming, Rodney Williford. This is Rodney, you know me. I, I remember your t-shirts a long time ago, class and grudge. Yeah. I was always class. This is new to me. The grudge is new to me. So yeah, grudge is pretty awesome, right? It's pretty awesome, but I'm having a hard time keeping up. <laughs> oh, it's fast pace. Yeah, man. You gotta be like, how many calories and steps you get today? Uh, wait, I haven't even eaten. I gotta go steal another cheeseburger off DME, but Hey, hopefully you don't get protested. Oh, good, so good, good luck to you, though. Thanks, good luck to you. Rodney Willard. Hey, guys, look at that bike. Does it look like a Pro Street bike? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It doesn't have a clutch handle on it. Uh -oh. is that a, does that look like a Pro Street bike to you? Come on, people. Get the fuck out of here, man. Would I ride out here? I said get the fuck out of here. 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 Dave, if you swing, Dave, I'll fuck you up, Dave, boy. I'm not right, but get the fuck out of here. Dave, stop. Get the fuck out of here. You can't get kicked out. You still got to win a race. Dave, you all right, Chris? Dave. 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 Dave.
You some motherfucking fools. Hey, why you back up? Hey, come on, hey, come on, hey, come on. You some bullshit. Get the fuck out. You better get out of here, man. I'll fuck your whole team up. I well, I do believe that was Dave Page picking pockets. I don't think he cared much for the protest, uh, as you saw right there. Well, 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 well. Okay, you're taking it. You're taking it as violence. That's not what I'm talking about. Well, that you got your phone. Yeah, but see, you're tripping. This ain't fucking this ain't TV. This ain't TV. It ain't like that. Fuck well, that's what I'm talking about. I'm saying you came over and cut my money from me. I'm just asking you. I did. I did. Chris knows what the fuck I told him on the phone. And he knows. So he told me to do it. He didn't fuck the game with me. We just had a meeting. He told him to come clear and collect. He told him to come clear and correct. He told him. He told him not to bring that guy. Don't bullshit me, don't fuck fuck about shit. Don't bullshit me, don't fuck about shit. You know what I told you. You know what I told you. We've been told you this, but we've been talking about that. You guys wrote, when she wrote over the internet, that's crazy. That's crazy. It's still a potion. Hey, he wrote, it's still a potion. Let go. I'm fucking done with it. I'm going to have security kill y'all the fuck out of here in a minute. I'm done with it. I'm done. The DQ, I'm fucking done. I'm fucking done. Period. You got enough positive exposure for the night you're good. But did you have to bring the whole thing? No, I know we did. We brought the whole thing. Show me the message. Show me the message. I'm asking you. No, 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 no. Show me the message. 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 He, he took it as I was threatening him. I was talking about, I'm, no, no, he, I was talking about protesting another fight, which I don't want to do. I like Rodney. He took it as me threatening violence. I'm not that dude. You would have loved him. You would have made him The man won, so they want to come from the back. Y'all, come on, hey. If there was a problem, he should have said no when they said no. Look, 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 uh, Cycle Drag Universe, we apologize if any foul language slipped through. This is a race like we've never covered before. We told you we were going to take you take you somewhere we've never been before. This is the first here on Cycle Drag. My goodness, let me know what you think. I don't even know I'm you that right now. You can stay here all fucking night if you want to. Period. I don't give no money. I, I made that shit clear, bro. Hey, Chris. Let me get a more about that T-shirt. He said, bring a bike. And they brought a bike. If it's not black mama, what's the problem? That's my question. I'm new to this. I thought it was run what you brought. Uh, apparently, they say... If you've showed your time before, can't enter. But but how would you police that? I mean, how how do you know that any of these bikes haven't been to local track? They haven't been to test and tune. I, I don't. I guess it's just between the promoter and the racer. Exclusive agreement between the promoter and the racer. Chris Moore. Chris Moore, are you okay? I heard you got this. Wait, I'm sorry. It's the wrong Moore. It's the wrong Chris Moore. Sorry about that. The levers threw me off. I'm glad you got a smile on your face, man. I don't know what to say. World's fastest grudge bikes, except for the real, real fast ones, are not allowed to come. Help me, I got a legitimate question here too. That about the aspect of never being able to show your time. What if any of these bikes were at a local track or at an independent event or the testing? How do we know that? Right? I mean, is it just because you had such a public run? It's because he's a fast son of a bitch. Uh oh. Uh oh. Teasley. Endorsement from Teasley. Well, I'm sorry, Chris. Looks like this round is going on without you. Keep us posted. Why the fuck are you still over here, clown? Get the fuck out of here! What the fuck are you just still doing over here? Get the fuck out of here! If you don't bring your whole fucking get the fuck out of here! Hey, 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 y'all don't need to keep talking, y'all go back the other way. We're trying to race. 
Well, this is more serious than WWE. This is wild. This is really Roger. This is a little wilder than we bargained for. They Chris Bo out. Yeah. yeah. Let me tell you something. Listen, this is if a man real. beats you, he beats you. Listen, it, if the bite goes on a different place, you, you can't say. Whoa. If it's a bite, though, you don't know. But both fights should have been. When you come down here to the dungeon, when you come in the bottom, you better be right. You better be a gorilla when you come down here in this bottom. Because let me tell you something. They got killers, killers and gorillas at the line. Jeremy, quick question. I thought you had the controversy, but now this is just small potatoes. What happened with that block? Were, were you? Did you lift or were you vulnerable? Could you have been beaten that round? gonna happen when you go undercover as a reporter that's for sure guys I imagine this being a 10 minute video it's gonna be a little longer than that we got some controversy let us not forget let us not lose sight of the big picture here biggest payout in motorcycle drag racing history is what we're competing for not a trophy okay this is not a Saturday night bracket race there's a lot at stake ninety thousand dollars $90,000, hey, 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 $90,000 right up for grabs. Right here, right here, got good. That's right. right. There we go. There we, we go. go. We're going to let it down. Guys, I want to remind you, viewer discretion is advised on this video. I'm going to try to edit out as many cuss words as I can. I'm sorry, though, guys. Absolutely. This is raw. This is real. This is what it is. Guys, we got Rob Bush here from Rob Bush Motorsports 190 hookup.com. Rob, we're just talking about how... This is grudge racing. This is real. This is raw. I don't know how much to edit this, but this is what it is. This is what this sport is, right? Yeah, I mean, feelings get hurt. Words are said. There's a lot of cussing, a lot of gambling. It's it's, it's not for kids. It's not work safe, you know. It's, but it's what we do, you know. Sure is. Look at this crowd. You know? Amazing. Amazing. Anything can happen. Guys, I thought we were going to get a little WWE. We might have got a little Jerry Springer mixed in there as well. Rasheem, does this make you feel a little bit better, bringing the blood pressure down? Uh, a little bit, man. It's KOG Kendi. He's having a rough night, girls. He's having a rough Kendi night. That's right. Blood pressure down just a little bit. Guys, I, I thought we had former Pittsburgh Steeler running back Le'Veon oh, Bell man. with us, and I thought L, L. Bell in the house. Good to see you, man. So, lost in all this is the story that Teasley, one of the odds on favorites, would have indeed lost. He admitted that. He was vulnerable. If Tucci didn't hit the cone with the front tire, as we're told, or kick the cone, as some said, uh, Teasley would not be in there. Also, I want to know in the comments, guys. What's your interpretation of what happened? We heard from Chris Moore, we heard from Rasheem, we heard from experts like Ricky Gadsden. Down below in the comments, you guys know this world better than me. If you're just a casual viewer watching from somewhere in this great world of ours, let us know where you're watching and let us know what you think. Where's the kid at? 
said here comes some Orlando stuff I'll use the word stuff they said something else but it's certainly Orlando stuff never seen that before. something else I'd like to bring to your attention that I find is a little odd I, I used to promote races okay like I said grudge world's not me it's not me this is second round it's 11 10 it's 50 minutes till midnight we have a track that's going away I can tell you right now I mean if this was my race the biggest race ever I would have been running at one, three, five, and seven. You Maryland guys know that sounds familiar, right? One, three, five, and seven. Second round, we're running at 11, 10 p.m. This is like, what, UFC, boxing. It's gonna be later than UFC. We're gonna be going until two, three in the morning, the way this is going. They love it, it's cookies and cream. They love it, it's skin. in Florida, but I bet those young ladies are cold. It's a little, it's a little nippy out here. A little nippy. How you doing? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. I just found a little
Rodney Wilford punches his ticket into the semifinals. He was under protest moments ago. Now he's going to the semis. One trend that I can point out, the guys in the final four so far, they're pro street racers. I recognize them because I cover pro street. Jeremy Teasley, Rodney Williford, who will be next? that tell you grudge world i know you guys are awesome out here but what's that tell you about the guys that compete in the categories pro street racers and how about this two racers that should have been eliminated in round one crash oh dear 
God, guys. Oh, dear God. He's saying Alex Hughes' bike's on fire. Thoughts and prayers. Thoughts and prayers to Alex Hughes. I hope he's okay. I, I know nothing. I don't know if he's able to get it stopped safely and get off the bike. We saw the bike on fire, though. Oh, get my shoe back. What? You're recording, you ain't nothing. I'll tell you what, guys. One thing that I'm a little upset, a little angry about. We've had a lot of fun tonight, but a lot of people joking around and taking this lightly. I want to make sure Alex Hughes is okay. Fortunately, it says something about some of those in attendance when they don't seem to care. I want to make sure Alex is okay. Where's Alex? Is he down there? So he got off. Bike was standing up. There he is. Thank you for the update, my man. I appreciate it. My heart stopped there for a second. We've had too many close calls lately. I was on the line when Mike Chongress a couple weeks ago back in Valdosta almost didn't walk away. Alex Hughes is a good guy, good buddy. I want to make sure he's okay. We can replace the motorcycle. We can't replace him. I was up there when Rasheem said, I want the entire Moore Mafia team ejected. I'm glad that he didn't mean ejected from the racetrack, right? I don't know. Not bad. Hey, we just make this shit up as we go, to be honest with you. Totally crazy. I will say this. Four pro street racers coming back. You're a pro street racer. I think it shows how tough those individuals are. And boy, you know, this is a whole can of worms about whose parts on who and the fact that they all race pro street. I guess that would open up that argument for everybody, right? True. So if we let Jeremy Teasley ride this bike, would it be allowed because he didn't ride that bike in pro street this year? Would that be fair? That's what they're saying. I don't know. Interesting questions here, guys. Let me see. Did you win? That was, <laughs> yes. Okay, but what it landed on? Oh, Tails. No. So, th so this is heads. Is That's heads. If it landed on Tails. Yeah, this is heads. This is Tails. I won. Let's check in with Team HTP as they tune on LeVar Dealey's bike coming back for the final four. Everything okay on LeVar's bike? They're just doing some routine clutch maintenance, trying to get it ready for the final four. Let's get a peek at what's going on with Team Conley, Team Teasley, Team American Express. This is it, guys. There's nobody around. They're running multiple classes, so they're up there in the lanes. I'll tell you, with this crowd, I'm surprised nobody's guarding the bike with $90,000 on the line. I really am. I'm gonna get out of here before I get accused of anything. And that is, welcome to Orlando. That is way too loud on the scooter. Let's check in with Richard Gatson. It's been a reprieve of sorts for him. Remember, he thought he was defeated in round number one. He got back in. Now he's going to the semis. Richard's been doing this since he was 14 years old. He's turned into one heck of a tuner as well. Let's check in with him. You know, everybody's got their game face on right now. I'm trying to be respectful of that. Richard was looking at Dad. I didn't want to jump in and ask him any questions. We'll let him do his thing. I mean, it's getting it's getting late, guys. It's getting very late. Time's running out. Last-minute tune-ups are being made. Crazy. We do. Tell them again, oh, Jack. Man. Come out. Oh, Richard, man. Come we got Williford Racing. We got the lovely Amber over here. I got to ask you. I know I asked you when Rodney was going to win the 10 grand what you would get, and I think you said a kitchen floor. What no, it was a ceiling. A ceiling? No ceiling on it. Okay. What would happen if Rodney wins all the money tonight? I don't even know how to think about that. He's got a shot. We haven't even got that far. He's we got a shot. We're to recover our Disney money. There you go. Well, you go to Disney many times. Willowford Racing in the house. Is Willowford Racing winning this whole thing? 
Oh my. There's the master back there. There's the master. There's the big girl. There's Skylar. Oh my gosh. Wait, you were a little baby last time <laughs> I saw you. That's Skylar's boyfriend, Cannon. Oh my gosh. Now they were babies, now they got boyfriends. I know, it's crazy. Look bro. out. Well, you know you can count on some good eats here. I've seen some really impressive barbecues. We're gonna make you salivate through your smartphone or computer screen or maybe chicken. Oh my gosh, is this that rack of lamb you promised me earlier? Oh! Man, thanks for the hard work. I'm worried that if you guys are leaving, who's gonna protect me? Those two that are leaving over there, they're going to protect you. Every, okay. <laughs> <laughs> they don't bugs <laughs> Guys, hey guys. Fine. we are now without security. I would like to also tell you, it's 1.05 a.m. There's a lot of things I love about this grudge game, but my goodness, we got to get on a better schedule. 1.05 a.m. And round number three is coming up. Four bikes remain. Four-way split. Guys, just spoke with Rasheem. Just spoke with Rasheem, the promoter. He says he is getting pressure from the track. They want to be done with this event. He says he feels like we can get the entire Big Eight in, though. He's going to run them here, and he said he'll bring them right back. For the final. <laughs> Round number I can only imagine the comments. I know, guys. There's a lot of things wrong with what we're showing here. <laughs> Thankfully, nobody was hurt. Thankfully. That's one way to warm up, huh? Ladies just don't have on enough clothes. I feel bad, but that hopefully, hopefully warmed them up, right? Warmed them up a little bit. There we go. There we go. They're like. That. Hey, hey, you pushed it too 
Nothing else would be running. Yeah, God damn that motherfucker. That's the only way I'd agree to it because we're not running for two a.m. You can't. So Richard Red Lights, the report that I'm getting too is Lavar's bike just wouldn't crank up. It was up here. I don't know what happened. Tough break for him, nonetheless. Teasley. Williford coming back for a mega final. Waiting on our final to come back. Here's what I'm getting a little concerned about, guys. It's almost two in the morning. I don't know if you can see this. Let me give you a close look at my rental through. car. Watch this. I mean, it's this is why it felt so cold last night, too. You Floridians will understand this with the dew point. It gets so wet out here, it feels like it's raining. It makes it feel a whole lot colder than what it is. But that's bad news for the race prep, that's for sure. I know you, you couldn't race quarter mile like this. I think we would be done if we were racing quarter mile. They're dragging the track right now, but both competitors, I hope, are very Very, safe. very wet out here. Very wet all of a sudden. A little too wet, perhaps, but one more run. Looks like it's gonna happen. Well, here we go, Mr. Rob Bush. No better way to end what has been a crazy year than with a crazy race and what will surely be a crazy final. Man, what Steph are you talking about? We got Rodney Williford sitting here, Jeremy Teasley on American Express. These guys, they're, they're just running for bragging rights, really, you know? Two of the best. I think they split the money at the four. Yeah, what a crazy year, what a crazy race, what a way to end the year. This thing was off the damn chain. Yes, it was. <laughs> Mr. Rodney, you are one, one win away. I've seen you win some big ones. This will be the biggest. Is there enough traction out there? I see it's a little dewy. Uh, well, that, that's the question right now, you know, you, uh, we're fighting the, the track conditions more than we're fighting anything else, so I guess the best thing we can do is leave the same tune up in there and, and hope for clean bats. Good luck to you. Thank you. you. see that too? Rodney going without his shield. It's one way to keep it from fogging up. Who, who are they talking to in your case? Hey, I get my money out of the pot. I know, I know. Everyone wants to know who's everybody going with. Man, it's so hard. I think... Whoever finds traction out there I'm is going to win. Rodney over here, a lot Rodney. of people going with JT. It's going to be a thriller, guys. Who I like. Who you like? The white boy. Okay, the white boy. They're, they're both white boys. You can't lose with that one. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Turbo versus Nitrous. Fitting way to end the season here, guys. Really, I can't lose right here. Like, if I lose, I lose. If I win, I'm here.
Congratulations, young man. Thank you. Before we started with 16 of the best, Rodney takes it home. What are you feeling right now? I'm happy. Happy and ready to go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think you could afford a nice uh, Marriott or maybe even better for you tonight, huh? Just a beer. That's there all it takes go. now, just a beer. Congratulations, guys. <laughs> wow, you. how about it? What a race. What a race, ladies and gentlemen. This was a wild one. We never covered anything like this before on the Cycle Drag YouTube hey, channel. Highway to the race to the motherfucking front. That's it, guys. Congratulations. Rodney Williford gets it done. Turbos win the day. Uncle Sam wins the day. Thank you very much. How about it? Wow. Amazing race, guys. If you like that video, here's another one for you to click on. Make sure to leave your comment down below. Give us your feedback. Do you want us to come back to Kings of Grudge? This was our first Kings of Grudge. Something a little different. Something that we don't normally cover. We wanted some variety. We, we know it's... Oh, you lost two Gs. Hey. Yeah, that's... He's dumb. Yeah, he's dumb. Sorry about that, guys. Anybody win any money? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. okay. Right okay. I took a hundred off of him. There we go. I took a couple Man. off Better than going to the casino, guys. I'm up. Better than going to the casino. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas, everybody. Let's hope for a much better 2021, but Motorcycle Drag Racing had a pretty darn good year. We're here for you. We traveled all year for one reason, to provide entertainment to you. If you were quarantining, if you couldn't travel, if you couldn't come out and be a part of this stuff, we wanted to provide you with a lot of entertainment, guys. Thanks so much. Thank you to all of the sponsors that got us here this weekend. Rob Bush Motorsports 190, hookup.com, Weeks Performance, DME Racing, and, of course, HRP Machine and Fab. Kings of Grudge, Ozzy Moya at Orlando Speed World. Much more coming here in 2021, guys. Hope you enjoyed this one.